it's really how to use these variables and, and the difference between dynamic SQL and inline SQL. And so we're going to step through the, some of this. We're going to talk about this. And then the demo, we've actually got some examples. We're going to step through and show you things that you think might work, but they're not working. And why are they not working? And, and some of those types of things. So first of all, let's go to our dynamic SQL block over here. So if we want to use dynamic SQL using execute immediate command, what that's going to do is going to execute a single SQL statement that's based on a string that contains SQL or a Snowflake scripting statement. So it could be a block or a control flow. So our execute immediate could execute an entire block, which could be a whole bunch of, of commands in there, right? It could execute a control flow, and we'll talk about that more in a minute. So it could be like an if uh, then else that has in, in each of those sections, it has multiple uh, commands in there. Um, so the types of execution strings that are supported are string literal, a scripting variable, a session variable, or any expression that evaluates two of our charts. So we, we got to have a string. Um, the types of statements that are supported in dynamic SQL, a single, single SQL statement. We could call a stored procedure. Uh, we could have a control flow statement. So we could have looping, we could have branching, you know, using if then else, all those types of things, or a block. Again, like I mentioned before, a SQL block. We can use the using clause, our example up here, using clause. Um, so, so we can optionally use positional binding variables. Uh, when we do that, we're gonna, in the, uh, the string, we're gonna put a, a question mark, and then we would do, use the using, and, and we've got examples of this in the demo too, along with uh, some examples over here. Uh, but when we, we go into the using, then we would put the uh, those replacement variables in that the using part of the command. Another place that we can use the using command is when we're um, when we're defining cursors. Very very important if we want to use dynamic SQL and then execute immediate, and we want to capture the results. We want to capture that returning um, data. We have to capture that into a result set variable. We can't capture it into anything else. And I'll show you this in the demo. Um, the only variable type that we can use to capture the result of an execute immediately is a result set. Even if it's just returning back one value, which is just a string or a number or whatever that is, we have to capture that into a result set. So that's the dynamic SQL. Like I said, we're going to show some of that in the demo. Let's talk about the inline SQL. So we can use inline SQL to run DDL commands, you know, create, alter, drop, et cetera. Uh, we can use it to run DML commands, insert, update, merge. We can use it to uh, run a call a stored procedure. We can use it to load data into a variable. That's a cool thing. We can use it to actually, uh, we can use inline SQL to load data into a variable. So key principle here, inline SQL does not derive the SQL statement from an expression or from variables. So dynamic SQL, it's deriving that, right? Uh, inline SQL does not derive that. And, and um, the one exception is that you can actually use some binding variables. And, and so we'll show that in the example. Hey folks, thanks for checking out this cut from our broadcast. To see the full show, click on the link in the video description. Also check out our learning center, which has white papers, events, live streams, and short explainer videos on a wide range of data management topics. And of course, if you like our content, please share it on LinkedIn. That really means a lot to us. Thanks again for checking us out and we hope to see you in our next broadcast.